All right. So this video is in response to a brother who emailed me, ask, what supplements do I actually use? I actually went out just a little while ago and got, uh, got a fresh restocking of some things. So let's go out and wander, meander, enter in the kitchen, have a look. Open this bad boy up. I'll show you what we got up here. Let's look. Here's like the main, you know that this is a mainstay. This is one of the most important things in this cabinet, as far as I'm concerned. This right here. Do I need to get some lights on in here? Can you guys see? I have to turn something on. This EFX car balloon. All right, this is a mainstay. I use this all the time now said this before, I'll say it again. Carbolin is actually a modified complex carbohydrate that behaves like a simple sugar in that it rises, blood sugar level rises faster than pure glucose, but it sustains, there's no crash, it sustains Carbolin advertises that it sustains like two hours or up to two hours. I've had it sustain about an hour and a half on a hardcore workout with a good dose. So the carbolin's got to be there. Carbolin's a base for everything, all right? Because carbolin's going to give you carbolin's going to give you the uh, insulin surge that you're going to need to create a good insulin spike. And you're going to need at least a minimum of 75 grams to do that because that's what they would give you if they were going to test you to see how well your body managed blood sugar. If it could manage 75 grams of glucose, and I think they'd give you like two hours to sort it out with, but that's not working out. When you work out, you really smash the shit out of your blood, blood sugar level. So I've got videos ad nauseum talking about this in great detail. Why you need, why you want to spike your insulin level, what it does, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just check out some of the other videos. I'll be here all day if I go into all this shit again. Next thing that is, uh, okay, this is this is workout days pre-workout. Tudka. This is every day. This is an incredible supplement. Tudka tastes bad. Works great every single morning. First thing in the morning. Also, L-Arginine, which I uh, like this is the brand they use now. Uh, you already know why, right? If you're down with my pre-workout mix, then you know why I use it. Pre-workout, I'll take up a 10 grams. Now, if I want to run it daily with the Tudka together in the morning, first thing, empty stomach, I might have coffee in my stomach. That'll be all. Then I'm not going to go 10 grams. I might go 5 grams. Five grams of L-arginine, and then one scoop of Tudka, which would be 500 milligrams. So that those two are both must, 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 must do. Now you know the EFX. Don't forget that I got a deal worked out. If you use Dr. Jeff Galini, who happens to be the guy that pioneered this and created this patented formula, Carbolin. That's a huge claim to fame for him. He's done a lot of other things since then. But uh, to me, this is just, uh, I'm still, I still haven't gotten over this yet. It's so awesome. So you can use Dr. Jeff 30 at checkout if you go to EFX Sports, EFXSports.com, and buy your products there. You can get 30% off. I don't get anything out of it, I get zero from it. That's why you get the whopping 30. You're not using my code. You're using Dr. Jeff's personal code, Dr. Jeff 30. Uh, and then these are all sport formula packets. You know, I use sport formula. Same deal as sport formula. Go to sport formula, buy your sport formula from sport formula, and you can get uh, whatever discount you can get then. Who knows? God knows what it'll be. You get one for free. You might get two for free. Just pay shipping. Uh, you might get 20% off, you might get 15% off, you might get 50% off. There are no changes all the time. I have these kind of just loose 
deals with people because people like me. And I don't really, not really out here trying to uh, hawk a lot of products, right? It's just stuff I use so much, so I'm like, what kind of deal can I get for my folks, my people, my peeps? Uh, your, your discount code for this is going to be G, GWAC, G-W-A-C, right? Sport Formula. So that's every day, absolutely every day, twice on training days, because one will go in my pre-workout. L-carnitine, 3150 by 5% uh, nutrition, rich piano, liquid, cardio. Oh, yeah, that's the cardio stuff. That's the cardio stuff. The sport formula, you got a lot of other stuff. Look, there's more sport formula. Back air, another thing full. Yep, another thing full. Uh, organic greens. Organic greens, cold processed. Antioxidant powder, sport formula, once a day, once a day. I have stuff up here that's not necessary that I don't always use, you know. Blue biology, prebiotics, I don't need to use that because I use their probiotic. I got more stuff, hang on. Let's go over here into the refrigerator. And the cupboard's kind of bare. Let's see what's in here. All these are probiotics. This must be the current one I'm using. Blue Biotics. Probiotic. Change your life. Every day. With food. Two a day. Doesn't matter what time. Alright, let's go over here and see what I just picked up. Let me turn some light on over here, Christ. Alright. All right, so I bought this today just because uh, now and again, Matt has these giant tubs of peanut butter for $10. Five pounds of peanut butter for $10. That's a lot of peanut butter. Now, five, tub, five pound tub. Now, this isn't the super cleanest peanut butter. Certainly not a peanut butter I would recommend to you. Or are we dieting, running a diet together or something? Because I would want you to have peanut butter that only had maybe one ingredient. Peanuts. That's it. Or maybe two ingredients. Peanuts and sea salt. That's it. You know, this one's got the palm oil, all that jazz in it, sugar. But the point is, it's super high calorie. It's dense nutrition. The last one I had of these last me months and months. So just... If you had a fast metabolism, you were naturally skinny or thin, underweight, you're trying to put some weight on, good choice. Ten bucks, huge thing. Just can't pass it up. Too good of a deal. I have other peanut butters back in the cabinet over there that are you know, more what you would expect me to have. But this, now and again, yeah. Okay, real carbs and protein. I use this once a day. This, I'll usually have this in the morning. This would be like, after I have my coffee and I have my... Uh, my mixture of Sport Formula, Tudka, and uh, L-Arginine. If I'm running that, I'll do L-Arginine every single day. When I do it every single day, I only do 5 grams. And then when I go to the gym that evening, if it's on a training day, I'll add in, you know, I don't know, 7 grams or thereabouts, you know. Won't get crazy. If I'm not using the tuck every day, then I'll just run the... I mean, if I'm not using... I do use tuck every day. If I'm not running the um, L-Arginine daily, then I will just run like 10 grams on training days. Anyhow. So I use this. Real whole food meal, carbs and protein. It tastes great. It mixes pretty well. Um, these are the protein sources it has. It comes from beef, chicken, and eggs. It's decent. It's a good meal replacement thing. First thing in the morning, two scoops of this, 40 grams. You know, 500 calories just in water. Just in water. Here's your ingredients. Whole grain oats, protein blend, hydrolyzed, beef protein isolate, whole egg powder, chickpea protein, organic chicken powder, rice powder, coconut oil blend, that's, uh, eh, but you got to have it in here. Um, sweet potato. 
Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Yeah. Farm fed. Okay, now we get serious. This is the higher quality protein. Yeah, if you want something clean, if it's got to be clean, clean. Okay, this is grass-fed whey protein isolate. This is Seth Ferrucci's company, Action Sledge. This is farm-fed. Most delicious shit you're going to find. This is chocolate milkshake right here. This one is vanilla milkshake, farm-fed. And I, I use the shit out of that. I don't know if I didn't notice it, but there's one in here. It's going to be... Where is it? All right, there's sport form of the chickpea protein. Sometimes I'll get onto that kick. Here we go. Here's a farm-fed glazed donut flavor. All right, this one's almost empty. That's why I had to get another one. Get a couple more of them. They didn't, didn't have that one in stock this time. But it's the most delicious protein powder I ever had. To be that clean, don't even know how he does it with that flavor. Um, additionally, pre-workout. You already know what goes in my pre-workout, right? So I told you, you can just throw anything in there. If you need a little boost, a little stim, you can throw anything you want in there. But what you want to have in there, of course, as you've heard me say a million times, is you want 75 grams minimum of carbolin. You want about 10 grams of L-arginine. It's two bowel tolerance, so be careful. Start out with five grams maybe and see where you're at. Um, you might need more carbolin. Depends how much you can hold, how much glu uh, glu uh, glucose, how much glucogen, uh, glycogen. <laughs> glycogen. How much glycogen can you hold? You know, uh, so you got the, the carbolin in there. You got the L-arginine in there. It's basically what you got to have in there, a sport formula in there to fill in the holes and micronutrients. And then if I'm going to add something to give me a little kick, you know, if I need it, I'm going to run this stim, this uh, ignition switch. Seth Ferocci again, action, action sledge. He's got some of the best shit on the market. Or I'll take it, I'll do it with this thing. It's good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Now, if I want just something for uh, an extra pump, you know, it depends the mood that I get in. If I want something for an extra pump, this is stim free, full as fuck. You know, rich piano, 5% nutrition. I'll use that. So it all depends, you know. If I want something, if I want something to, to snack on, it's just on the road. Maybe I got it in a glove box or something. Outright. I think they're pretty good. I'll use Outright. Outright Nutrition. Right? Some of these joints. Right? You might have some of this. I might be drinking my Fair Life. I consider that a supplement. And a food. Both. You know? And of course, you know, I drink the Fair Life. You know, I drink the Fair Life. Typically, I will drink. I might have one of these in the gym. I don't think they're super, super high quality at all by any means. But in the gym, after a workout, I may drink one if I'm still thirsty before I even roll out of there. This. This is the shit right there. Fair Life. I don't know how, how long, how many years. I've been drinking two of these a day. Once in a while, like, you know, if I haven't been training, I got an injury, one a day. If I'm drinking two a day, I will, if I'm trying to get leaner, I'll have one skim and one of these chocolates, and I'll cut them both, you know, mix them 50-50, and I'll drink them, two a day. Uh, I don't know if you saw that or not. I, I hope you're familiar with what this is. 13 grams of protein per shot, 50% uh, less sugar. So, get more protein, less sugar, that's just a 2%. You know, the skim, way clean. The skim's way clean. So, that's what I do. You might notice there's boxes piled up back there. What are they? Oh, that's my china. Yeah, I got china. That's my china, it's French. Uh, what the hell is that shit called? Limoges, Limoges, China. I've had that for years. I've had that probably 10 years, maybe longer. Anyway, I also have, uh, I know, who, who the fuck's interested, right? But I'll show you anyway. This is my, let me zoom in here. It's my Norman Rockwell. Sam, 
Yeah, they're in there. The Norman Rockwells are in there. All right. Norman Rockwell collector plates. I don't even know how old they are. They're, they're a couple decades old, a few decades. Uh, I think they're from the 70s, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So that's about it on the supplementation end of things. Uh, other than some test, you know, and that's not, uh, that's not to be all end all. That's, that's, you have to be very careful, that kind of thing. That's why I got the allergeny. Oh, baby aspirin every day. One baby aspirin every morning. Gallon of water every day. You know, and the rest is solid food. The rest is solid food. Uh, I'll have tenderloin if I have beef. I'll, I'll have, uh, uh, you know, beef tenderloins, uh, filet mignon. And yeah, it's pricey, but I have it because it's really easy. It's much easier to digest than rougher cuts, rougher cuts of beef, like, uh, like a New York strip or something like that, which isn't a shitty piece of meat, but it's going to have more fat in it. Anyway, you know, beef itself is, uh, is a bitch to digest comparatively when you're talking about clean proteins is beef isn't you know clean really but that's why I go with the leanest cuts that I can get uh, the most easily digestible cuts I can get which is going to be filet mignon also happens to be most expensive you know that's how that's how these things go and uh yeah it's it's protein dense though beef has a lot of protein per you know per ounce Get a lot of protein. Other than that, it's uh, usually some sort of a, a, I love haddock. Love haddock. Tilapia, I'm burnt out on tilapia. I got, I've been burned out on tilapia for 20 years. <laughs> you know, tilapia, that's still okay. Uh, orange roughy, fucking burnt out on orange roughy. These are typical bodybuilding fish that everybody eats, and so did I, and I've eaten so much of that shit, you know, every day of my life for a long period of time for a while. Now, we fucked the planet up so bad, you shouldn't even eat fish more than twice a week, they say, because of the mercury. If you don't like the mercury, you're worried about that, and you're pounding fish, then uh, eat some fresh strawberries with that meal. There you go, another fucking tip. Eat some fresh strawberries with that meal. Anybody know why? Somebody's going to Google it. You're going to cheat. You're going to cheat. Uh, that, that, hopefully, allegedly... Uh, theoretically, will prevent the mercury from being picked up and absorbed in your intestines. Uh, you know, I don't know, but what the fuck do I have to lose? I'm going to eat the fish anyway, and I'm not supposed to eat it every day, or I'm only supposed to eat it twice a week, they're saying, because of the fucking mercury content in it. Then strawberries are a win. They're a good antioxidant. They're a good healthy food. So if I eat the strawberries, man, if it's... Uh, if it protects me, saves me from absorbing that mercury, then that's, that's fucking awesome. And if it doesn't, you know, uh, I ate it anyway. I know it, knowing it, I ate that fish, and uh, I got some strawberries. So blueberries, awesome antioxidant. I eat a lot of blueberries. I eat oatmeal. I eat oatmeal. I eat, um, I like those Kodiak, that Kodiak cake shit, you know. And they have that Kodiak oatmeal and stuff, that extra protein oatmeal. I eat that. I eat that. Um, now, if I was really getting super lean, then I won't fuck with that. Then I'll eat, like, uh, real, real oatmeal that takes time to cook and shit. You know what I mean? Um, the varying degrees of oatmeal. The faster that it can be cooked, um, that uh, uh, is your lesser, um, your, your lesser choice of oatmeal, but it's still really good. It's still a good uh, fibrous carb. You're going to get more fiber out of, you know, uh, the, the real shit that you really have to labor a little bit to, eat to cook, but um, oatmeal is not particularly a super fiber food anyway. I mean, it, it counts. It counts. But sweet potato, sweet potatoes kick ass, baby. Sweet potatoes, good fibrous food. And what's the point of having fibrous food? Thermogenesis, man. Thermogenic dieting, that's, that's where it's all at. That's what we do. That's what I do. That's what I always do. So, I don't know if this helps anything or clears anything up. 
But that's, those are some of the supplements that I use, you know. Now, I won't use pure shit supplements, okay? Like, I don't, I do not use, well, let me say this. I, I also, I will say, I do not use just regular uh, um, whey protein. Nah. Uh, listen, regular whey, if you don't have, you know, the bucks to pony for isolate or hydroslate, then regular old whey, that's still super protein, baby. Still super protein, man. You have to look at what that is on PER, protein efficiency ratio table. It's still super high protein, super high quality protein nutrition, man. So, you know, don't be down in the dumps. If you go in to buy this shit and you can only afford, uh, you know, regular whey concentrate. But the thing that you need to understand is percent on a percentile basis, how much of that are you going to be able to absorb and get to the cellular level and how much could be waste? You know, can you digest it? Yeah, so when I'm looking for proteins, I'm looking for protein that contains a digestive enzyme. I guarantee you this farm fed does. I don't even know, but I guarantee you, I already know it does because Seth Roche is not a dummy. Let's have a look. Let's have us a look. Uh, is it going to be on ingredients? Enzyme blend. There we go. Let's zoom in on that so that even I can read it. And hold it in the light and see if it can focus. It's a lot to ask, isn't it? It's a lot to ask. And got a lot of light here, so you're not be able to focus. Come on now. Here we go. What do we got going now? This fucker ain't gonna focus. Right there, I wanna see that. Alright, what the fuck? Anyway, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Good quality protein is gonna have digestive enzyme blender complex in there so that you can digest and absorb that shit. Especially if it's whey. Any kind of whey, you know? Any kind of way. So, me, don't fuck with concentrate. Uh, or uh, either way isolate or way hydroslate. One or the other. That's what I use. That's what I use. But I use other, you know, like you can see with the Rich Piana thing. I use those blends that aren't even, even related to milk in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah. And the rest of it's just food, man. Rest of it's just food, and there's a lot of that, so that's a whole other thing. I've gone into it before. I've shown you everything I eat and all that crap. All right, I'm out of here. Don't forget your fruits and veggies, man. Don't forget your fruits and veggies. And if you can't keep it all together, it's too much to keep track of and, and, and manage and uh, organize. You're not going to get the veggies you need. You're not going to get the fruits you need because you're so busy trying to get the protein you need and get some carbs in there, some decent carbs and shit. Then, and get that water down. That water is important. That water is really important. That water is as important as the protein as far as building muscle. It's more important just for you to live, just to survive. But it's as important as the protein to build muscle. Um, if you're not going to get, you know... The, the micronutrients you need, you're not going to get the vegetables and the amounts that you need, and you're not going to get the fruits every single day. And you better get some sport formula on board. Simple as that. Cold processed, raw ingredients, live enzymes. It's, as far as I'm concerned, it's your best shot at being able to absorb that shit and be able to use that nutrition, man. Get it in you. That's what it's all about. Why would you be taking it if you... If, if it can't get where it needs to go, why are you buying it and why are you putting it down your throat? Just skip it. Just pass it by. You know what I mean? Just go dump it in the toilet because that's where it's going. <laughs> you know? All right, I'm out. I hope this helps. I hope this wasn't like a disappointment to the brother that was waiting for it. But uh, I do what I can do. I'll see you.